Oh, g'day and welcome to Farming Live Australia. On the farm there's a few things we never seem to have enough of. And one of them at the top of the list is buckets. I don't know what happens to them, but we just never seem to have enough buckets. At times I've gone and bought 20 and within 12 months I'm down to two again. So what I've been doing for years is I've been making them out of old 20 litre drums. And this one here is a chlorine drum, so it's suitable for a lot of things. And if you're going to make buckets out of drums, you've got to be careful what was in them. You know, like you don't want to use a drum that had some sort of nasty poison or something like that, particularly if you're going to feed animals out of it. So just be very wary of what the drum contained before you got it. This is most of the stuff we're going to need to complete the job. So I've got an angle grinder with a one mil cut off wheel to cut the plastic drum, some pliers and cutters, some one inch by eight mil bolts, a couple of little bits of half inch copper pipe about half an inch long or a little bit more probably and some chain links some, and some chain links, and if you have a look, look, one of the chain links has been bent in the middle. Okay, well let's get on to the job. So the first thing to do is to cut the drum around this line here, right around the top, and cut the top right off. So I'll do that, I won't do it on camera, it's a bit noisy. Now the other thing that you need to cut off the drum is the handle. So you can see the handle was there and I've cut it off and now I've got this piece here. That's going to form the handle for your bucket. So clean all the burrs off with your knife, off everything. Make it nice and neat so that way so the wire will go through for your handle. Likewise with your drum. So just clean all the burrs off. The one mil cutting disc probably isn't ideal for cutting this. It does it, but there's probably some other form of disc that actually does it better than that, but I just use them because that's what I've got. Okay, now the next thing to consider is on the bottom of these drums, you can see it's made so that they can stack on top of each other and that's where the handle fits if you stack them on top of each other. The trouble with that is, is that when you put the handle on, how you orient it compared to that slot is a problem because if you put the handle that way, so you've got to put your hand like that when you tip it, your hand wants to slip off. Whereas if you put it so the handle is oriented so you can grab hold of this when you tip it up, you've got something good to grab hold of. So that's something to think about when you're making your bucket. So with a marker, just mark a spot on either side. Make the spot where you drill your hole directly down from the piece in the bottom that's removed and that will make the orientation for your handle correct. Off camera I've drilled the holes here and this is where our copper tube comes into play. I'll show you that now. Now with a big punch like this just get, put your copper pot on a hard surface and tap down and try and flare out your piece of copper tube evenly like that. Again. Okay, so you can see both bits of tube are flared out. On the inside, poke your piece of copper through like that then put it on the end of a well ideally an anvil but whatever you've got that you can do this with and tap it down okay and that makes that makes a good strong point to put your bolt through. Again, a 
Okay, so now we've got two eyelets of types. In fact, you could probably use an eyelet in there if you had it. I didn't have an eyelet, so I used that. Put a washer on your bolt and put it through. Put your chain link that's had got the bend in it over the bolt and then do it up. And it's a good idea when you do this up tight to put some Loctite or something on it so it doesn't unscrew. Again, a bolt with a washer, put it through, put your piece of chain that's been on, your nut, okay. So this is the handle that we got off the actual drum and what I'm going to try and do is feed a bit of wire through it. If you leave these ends too long it's very hard to do that. So this piece of wire is a piece of 10 gauge. So you put, put your wire through. I'll now grab it with the long nose pliers and bend it around. and cut it off with the side cutters. Now, we have to work out how long we want the handle. I like the handles so that they'll go down like that, so if we have a look, we're going to need about that much wire. This is not critical because you can adjust it all. Okay, so put the wire through again. Okay, now one thing, this is coming out one side of that, so what I'm going to do is just level that up straight, same on this side. So you can see now, the handle works nice, it tips really good, you don't have any problem with, you know, wanting to bind up, and the handle just flops down out of the road really, really well. When I first started making these buckets, what I used to do was just punch a hole through here on either side and tie a bit of wire on it. The trouble with that is that you can't fold the handle over and you're always stuck with the handle up in the road. Like if you're trying to pour something in there, you know, you've got your handle up here and it's in the road. So it's a lot better off like that. Anyway, that's how you make a bucket out of a 20 litre drum. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia and we'll catch you next time.